uh, go ahead and get done quickly before anybody else shows up. Uh, the pipeline has not really changed very much. Uh, VLC should be getting an update uh, in the next day or two sometime. We have, we have a couple of bugs that we're working through. Um, some of them we have fixes in already, but we have one or two left that are not done. Uh, that is incidentally going to uh, have a whole bunch of changes in it that um, revamp how we do exception handling in the viewer. So we've we've introduced, we've, we've basically gone through and cleaned up all the places where we do throws and catches and uh, are trying to make sure that those all get properly dealt with and recorded at least. Um, I'm hoping that that will improve some of our crash uh, data capture anyway, if not if not actually fixing the crashes. Um, so uh, fairly widespread, small changes. Uh, the, uh, and it just ended up in that branch because it had to go somewhere. Um, the Bento viewer, um, I do expect to have a release candidate probably before our next meeting. So coming very soon. Uh, and of course, by the usual rules, yeah, well, it'll become a release candidate. Um, how long things remain release candidates is variable. And I would not venture to predict because I'm terrible at predicting. Uh, but um, it will be a release candidate. And at that point, of course, by our usual rules, it's legit for you guys to release versions that have merged it. So go for it. Uh, Visual Outfit Browser just got an update this morning. Uh, fixed some bugs in that. Um, and we're all keeping our fingers crossed on the uh, on whether or not the crashes will get better on that one. Um, it's uh, well, the the last version didn't have a crash rate we were very happy with. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't as good as it should be. Uh, no, it's my wife having another meeting in the background. Sorry, we overlapped today. Try not to do that. But. Uh, and we are making more progress on the 64-bit builds, so I'm hoping that we'll we'll have a project viewer out sometime soon. No, no, she's not a Linden too. We we met at the office, but we have very carefully not worked at the same place since. Uh, so, uh, we are trying to work with Microsoft to find out what the genesis of those problems is. Um, I don't really have anything to report on it yet, but, uh, you know, we didn't do anything, so I'm not sure that we're going to be able to fix it without help. The fact that it's not just us that's affected is our best hope for it getting fixed. So I think uh, that's actually kind of all the news I had today. This is it's kind of a slow news week. We are going to have a kind of a busy busy period coming up here. We're, we're going to be rolling out a bunch of voice stuff. fixes us. Uh, the voice changes are not ready for prime time yet. Um, the version I have 
uh, has um, has a bug in handling of distance. So voice degrades with distance much more quickly than it ought to. And I, I, I have to get Vivox to fix that. So I, I don't expect uh, an update to that for a little while. I, I have not made an attempt to actually pin it down to specific numbers. It's just that uh, I have a few meetings like this one that I do in world regularly. Um, and I have found that if I'm running the voice viewer, I have to sit in the middle of the circle so that I can hear everybody. Um, I do not know when the new voice server version will be going to Agni. Um, you know, I mean, we'll the new voice server yeah. version doesn't really add any features. Um, um, it's more in the way of preparing for future changes than uh, making any current changes. So as a matter of fact, we might decide to hold off changing Agni just on the general principle that you shouldn't change Agni unless you need to. Anything on groups? I don't. We have not made any changes to groups lately. Was there something in particular you were interested in? Uh, yeah, the ability to see moderators and stuff on large groups. Ah, right. Um, no, no progress on that. We, we, we sort of put that project on hold in favor of some other things, um, which will be actually coming to a simulator near you soon. Some spiffy new LSL capabilities. So I think I probably should change. Spiffy new LSL capabilities, yes. We're, we're, we're going to give you a, a, a new family of LSL functions that I think scripters are going to be very excited about. Oh, do tell. And let me guess, it's top secret and you can't let us in on anything yet. Oh, I just don't. Somebody's, someone is doubtless writing a, a, a blog post about it, and I don't want to steal their thunder. Yeah, but it, it, it'll, it'll be soon. We're, I don't know, Ryder, is that, that's, I saw that was going to go on to a QA sim. Easier if I just speak. Uh, yeah, it's it's on uh, one channel on DD now. Very cool. So once QA has given it some blessing, and the moles have have said they're happy with it, then we'll we'll uh, publicize it all. Real soon. Yeah, then, then more people can start pounding on it with clubs. Right. <laughs> That would be telling, really. It's not like I live to torment you, really. But it is fun. Yeah. We have to get our revenge somehow for the fact that you find all our bugs. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, so, coming soon to a thing near you, I, I um, am very encouraged to see that uh, a couple of creators have started putting out demo versions of Bento content. Yay! Very cool. Oh, Oz, what about the invisible... Prem thing that got mentioned a while back. Has there been anything done on that to kind of fix it so we don't get the God of Halos anymore? The 
you, you mean, um, well, there are a couple of couple of invisibility problems that have been bouncing around. Which which ones do you mean? Uh, whichever one it was that Jessica brought up. I know there's been some issues with it with regards to. Um, um, was that the, like the Invisiprims? I, I think so. I think it was. I the think they're. I think they're as fixed as we expect them to be, which is to say they right. have not been supported for a long time, but they aren't as badly broken as they were for a little while there. Uh, well, I know when I still put an alpha layer on on my head, I get what looks like a messed up brain. Oh, by the way, Oz, I'm hearing mixed reviews on the um, Jelly Dolls. So. Most people like the Jelly Dolls, but they hate the um, Avatar Complexity notices. Yeah, I believe we're gonna we're gonna put in some easier way to suppress them. Our modules only a subset of the screen, and. Uh, that might actually be the one where the, I'm looking at that to see, but I think you're probably right on that. Yeah, that's the one, Worley. That is the one. Gives us that god halo around the head with bald bases. Yeah. That's the one. Affects shoes, everything. I gave a nudge. I, I didn't know about that one. That's, that's. I knew about that one, but it kind of fell off my radar. Okay, well, <clears throat> we'll see if we can get somebody on that. Oh, hey, my suit is almost as shiny as Oz's suit. In fact, if Oz were a vampire, he'd look like Dimitri. Uh, it's it's just a performance issue. Um, hope the and and actually it's it's not just performance. It's also stability. Uh, 
every attachment that you you have has to be moved across region boundaries with you or through teleports. Teleports and region crossings are really the same thing. Um, uh, and so it's just it's just a question of uh, keeping keeping the number of things that we have to move when we move an avatar down. You you get you get more points. Attached points don't cost as much of anything, um, but no more attachments. Not raising the limit. Morley, I can't believe that you asked a question and didn't post a Jira. Are you sure that's you behind those uh, kicks? Well, technically, I have to say almost because I tre treat everybody the same when it's a support case. But I will have to admit behind closed doors on a muted mic that none of you can actually hear that I might have to do less confirmation work when she says something's wrong. Oh, we just import the stuff when we're early reports it. Wait, sorry, did I? <laughs> Oops. I can't say that. <laughs> you know, if we ever met the mirror or a whirly, we'd be in a lot of trouble. <sighs> Many different implementations. 
Uh, I'm, I'm determined to meet Worley in the real world one of these days. It's got to be done. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, so, um, Uh, we're gonna. The the region crossing thing. But I, you know, there are problems, and we will keep trying to work on them. But at the moment, it's not the focus of our efforts. Wear less stuff, especially scripts. That's that's actually an interesting theory to test for early. Um, at at some right. point soon, I'm planning on doing a round of uh, of fairly comprehensive performance testing. I'll, I'll try to include that. Sure, how helpful that is to know that result 
have. Any other any other topics for the day? Oh, Ash, did you get anything done with the notices? Because notice, I remember notices being sometimes intermittent, but it seems like it may be a little bit better lately. Uh, I don't believe we've done anything to uh, affect notices, yeah. at least not on That's purpose. Not uh, okay, because I'm noticing I'm starting to get notices in my email again. Yeah, we were quick today, Izzy. What about offline notices or offline emails? Has, has there been anything done on that? Um, offline emails, we, we haven't done anything about that lately. What we are in the process of doing is fixing things so that it's easy for you to get your email address verified that is you know the usual trick of we send you a, an email with a hyperlink in it and you click on the link to verify that you really receive mail that goes to that address um, once we've made that easier to do we will be changing lots of things so that they will only work with verified emails including yeah, offline ims um, and our hope is that if we do that, the number of times we attempt to send to bad addresses will go down very drastically, and then the mail we do send will be more reliable. So uh, we'll be blogging about that at some point uh, when the new screens are there. If you, if you want to verify your email address now, you can by just changing it, and then you'll get a um, you'll get a, a, a verification email. Because uh, I remember we talked about this once before and you posted a link in local for us. And I had difficulties getting that to verify. I had to contact support for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, of course. A, a link to verify your email? Uh, yeah. Um, the only way to do that now that's straightforward is change password. Right. Uh, it's your password or your your email? Okay, we have to verify the email address through the password? Uh, let me see if I can... She lost me on that one, Oz. Uh, I'm totally lost now. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I have to... Can we just change the name? 
integration. Yeah, I know. You know, that was that was what was in the uh, so what would you like to follow? Number of turns? Yeah, we'll 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 have to do something with that. There there is a way to get to triggering the offline the email verification. If you create new accounts now, it, it's part of the normal new account flow. So the change to email flow will trigger an email verification. Um, but we're going to have an endpoint that just allows you to verify your email in accounts. It's just not ready yet. Not right. I know. Yeah. I also think that this giant conversation I really is that I mean anything to anybody. Yeah, right. So If you if you go to the change page, then when you when you do it, it'll email you a link to verify it. That's giant. And what's the point of that? All right. So what I would rather do, I mean, if you want to if you want to do this on Monday. But I would rather do it on Wednesday just because I want to try and get something. Uh, I want to make a pull request. And once we do that, then we can start with that catalog. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But anyway, so that's verifying email addresses is all part of our long-term plan to make email delivery of all sorts of things more reliable than it is now. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I, and in I, fact, yeah. part of that will be that if your email is not verified, we won't even try to send yeah, to fine. it. I, seriously. Uh, but we're, we're not going to start right. making those changes until after it's easier to get the address verified, which is in our queue of things to do. So, any other issues, or can we be done for the day? Yeah. Get done in half the time. Just the usual griefing issues. Okay. Right. Right. Well, we've got several things going on that we hope will be helpful yeah. with griefing, yeah. but nothing we're ready to talk about yet. Ah, well, I asked, well, there was a report last night in the Firestorm beta group about a um, individual seeing an avatar with 14 million avatar complexities. Which I found kind of odd because I didn't think 14 million was even possible. Uh, well, well, anything possible. Um, we we do have we do have at least one bug fix in the pipeline that that should help with uh, very large uh, meshes. Um, but. 
those things take a while to get right. Okay, well, uh, hopefully next time we will have some very exciting things to report bugs on. So I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye, everybody. That would be really exciting. Take care, Oz. Have a good weekend. Have a great Thank weekend, everyone. You. Bye. Now, i got to decide whether I want a new Apple iPhone 7 or a new Apple Watch.